beauties. Today I want to talk to you about your tongue, which is the part of our body that we don't often focus on perhaps or think about, but actually looking at our tongue to evaluate our health and our vitality is something that's been used for centuries by different practices like TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, and Ayurveda. As part of my Ayurvedic program, for instance, there was part of a class where we actually did look at tongues and coloring and discoloration and texture and what that means. So I want to give you just a little snapshot of that today. I love that our body is always giving us clues if we tuned into it. It's not just about surface and band-aids. You know, this kind of looks like this, so let me just kind of spray something on. But we know if our hair is not growing or if our skin is starting to look really shallow, we have acne or, you know, whatever it is, then there's something deeper going on and we can clue into that and, and work to remedy it from the inside out. So it's the same thing with our tongue. Our tongue is actually a very, very strong muscle. We think usually of muscles as our biceps or triceps or you know our hamstrings quads but the tongue is amazing it is constantly working for us uh, working in the digestive process working in speech it's a very very important muscle in the body so I have a couple notes here um, after this or maybe during this you can pull out your phone if you have a mirror or just flip the photo around to the um, photo app and just look at your tongue right now now if you have a thick coating on your tongue which is something I definitely used to have this can be indicative of uh, improper mix of bacteria in your gut this can mean anything from um, just your microbiome is out of whack and it will manifest in that thick coating. Now, a lot of us have some white on our tongue, but if you have a really, really thick coating, um, there's some that's saying something to you. I know I definitely did when I was constipated and bloated all the time. So here's where you really want to work on balance and nourishing your gut, and namely with SBO probiotics, um, which you can check out a link below. I'm so passionate about them because they really helped me. I still take them every day. Um, it's a lifestyle. It's something we constantly work on. But when I had some really intense digestive issues, it just helped get me to the other side. So a lot of people say to me, well, I'm already taking probiotics. You know, someone said it the other day and I'm like, well, which ones are you taking? And not all probiotics are created equal. Um, we wanna make sure we're spending money and investing and following a practice that is actually doing something for our bodies. So the SBO probiotics mimic how we got them in nature from the soil. They st SBO stands for soil borne organism probiotics. They are hardy, they survive stomach acid, they're very, very powerful. And so please check out the SBO probiotics in the link and that's great if you have a thick coat on your tongue um, or if you have a yellow tongue, that could also be indicative. Now cracks in the tongue, especially right in the middle, um, TCM says, you know, that can naturally occur over time or this may um, indicate issues in your spinal column. So if you're having some back problems and you're starting to notice some um, cracks, you might want to take extra care of your spine, some twists, uh, maybe a holistic chiropractor. Um, there's some amazing different schools of chiropractic that are growing right now, which I absolutely love. Um, a bright red tongue um, can also indicate a vitamin deficiency. So if your tongue is super red, not like a normal sort of pinky red, but super red, that can mean there's a vitamin dis deficiency like folic acid or B12. And that's something you wanna look into and possibly supplement with. Um, I've been plant-based for years and I do take a, a high quality B vitamin, B complex uh, supplement, even though I eat nutritional yeast and other foods, just to make sure I'm getting enough B12. And if you are plant-based, I definitely recommend that as well. There's something really gross. I saved it for last. It's called black hairy tongue. And this also has to do with overgrowth of yeast and bacteria in the mouth, poor gut um, health, excessive smoking or coffee drinking, dehydration. So a lot of these things are, you know, lifestyle, uh, drinking fresh water, having whole foods, um, moving, making sure you're not sitting all day, taking care of your spine. And again, gut health, gut health, gut health, gut health. Make sure, please, you're taking your SBO probiotics. That's my number one tip for you guys. Um, it does so much. It just helps to balance our body, our health, our beauty, our vitality, our well-being. Really starts in the gut. I know this um, from my heart, from personal experience, and it can really change your life in so many ways. 
So check out your tongue today. Go over, look in the mirror, check out what it looks like, if there's a white coating, if it looks a nice healthy color. You can monitor it, monitor your tongue over time as well to see how it shifts. And hopefully this was a helpful vlog for you just to become aware of another amazing sign that our body gives us to clue us into our overall well-being. So sending you so much love. Uh, make sure that you subscribe on our free email list if you aren't on it already right here on the website kimberlysnyder.com sending you so much love beauties keep your questions coming i form a lot of these um a lot of the content around questions that you guys are asking so i'm so grateful for you i'm so grateful for our amazing community which spreads love and supports each other so sending you love take care and see you back here very soon